What is up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. Week two was full of surprising victories from underdogs. Now that week two is now in the books, here are my week three predictions. Thursday night football, Patriots versus the New York Jets. I will be very honest. I'm very surprised of how the Patriots have been playing the past few weeks under Gerard Mayo. They defeated the Bengals at home, took the Seahawks into overtime compared to the Jets being outclassed on Monday Night Football against the 49ers and just beating the Tennessee Titans by a touchdown. With that being said, the Patriots have owned the Jets for quite some time. I think Mayo continues that, tra that tradition. Give me the major upset on Thursday Night Football. Give me the Patriots money line over the New York Jets. Next, we have the Eagles versus the New Orleans Saints. Derek Carr has been playing like an MVP candidate. The, they dropped a 40-piece on the Panthers, which isn't very hard to do nowadays, and at Dallas. And then we have the high-powering Philadelphia Eagles offense. I think this will be a very close game. I think both teams are capable of dropping 30 points each. With that being said, I'm going to have to give the slight edge victory to the Philadelphia Eagles money line. I think this game can come down to a game-winning field goal. I'll give the slight edge to the Eagles, although the Saints have been performing well, and they're at home. Give me Eagles money line. New York Giants versus the Cleveland Browns. No way in hell I'm taking the New York Giants. They lost to the Washington Commanders, and I think this Cleveland Browns defense will make life hell. For this, for this Giants offense, the Browns perform very well at home and i think the browns defense will give them this w then their offense so give me the browns they'll probably obliterate the new york giants at home so give me the browns money line green bay packers versus the tennessee titans this is the malik willis revenge game it's up in the air of if jordan love will come back but based on how the lines are looking they have the packers as underdogs which means that love will probably sit another week and give the ball to malik willis I have no faith in this Tennessee Titans team. I think the Packers are the much better team. They have the coaching advantage. I think Matt LaFleur knows what he can do with Malik Willis than the Titans knew what they could do with him. Give me the Green Bay Packers with the upset Malik Willis revenge game. Malik gets his W over his former team. Chicago Bears versus the Indianapolis Colts. This Colts defense looks like Swiss cheese, and even when they know when the run is coming, coming they still cannot stop it i do not think that anthony richardson can find himself through this bears stingy defense the bears are probably going to take the same strategy that the prior two teams took running the ball i think the bears will probably run it down their throats and open up the passing game for caleb williams give me the chicago bears to defeat the indianapolis colts Houston Texans versus the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings have started the season very hot. That Brian Flores defense is keeping them in the game, and Sam Darnold has been playing exceptionally well. Then you had the Houston Texans. They defeated the Chicago Bears on primetime, and they come into the season 2-0. With that being said, give me the Houston Texans to win. They finally give the Vikings that loss. And the Texans continue to stay hot in the season. 3-0, they find themselves through that Brian Flores defense. Houston Texans, money line. Denver Broncos versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Cannot trust this Broncos team. The Buccaneers have been very hot. Baker Mayfield has been baking up in Tampa Bay. And very glad that he left Cleveland because he looks like a great franchise quarterback for this Buccaneers offense. Give me the Buccaneers money line. I think they beat the Broncos by at least 10 points. No competition. Buccaneers money line. Los Angeles Chargers versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Both teams are undefeated at 2-0. I think this will be a very close game. I think they'll both rely on the run game a lot. Um, low scoring affair. Give me the slight edge to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Home field advantage. Terrible towels. I think Mike Tomlin will find a way to squeak out a W, and I think Justin Fields and his dual threat ability will find a way to move the chains, control the clock, and keep the ball out of Justin Herbert and his Chargers run heavy offense. Give me the Steelers in a close victory at home over the Chargers. Miami Dolphins versus the Seattle Seahawks. This Dolphins team is looking really cooked with Tua being out with concussion, is up in the air of what he decides to do with his career. Now they're relying on the backup QB. And you had the Seattle Seahawks 2-0. They're looking to go 3-0 in the Mike McDonald era. 
And I think they go 3-0 and in the Mike McDonald era. I just think that the Seahawks defense will be too much for the backup quarterback. Don't think the Dolphins can keep up with this Seahawks team. Give me the Seattle Seahawks money line at home. Carolina Panthers versus the Las Vegas Raiders. The Panthers organization is cooked. They bench Bryce Young in hopes of Andy Dalton keeping them in the game and at least not fight for that number one draft pick in 2025. Don't think that matters because this Panthers organization, I cannot trust it. I cannot pick them even with the quarterback change. Give me the Las Vegas Raiders. They had a nice surprising victory over the Baltimore Ravens. Give me the Raiders money line. Baltimore Ravens versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Ravens have probably been one of the most surprising teams to start the season 0-2. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys took a 40-piece to the mouth at at and Stadium. I think this would be a very close game, but I find it very hard to believe that the Ravens will start the season 0-3. And Lamar Jackson has 20 wins and 3 losses versus NFC teams. Based off that surprising trend, I think Lamar Jackson rides high and continues to be an NFC killer. I think the Cowboys lose back-to-back games at home and the Ravens finally get a W in 2024. Give me the Baltimore Ravens money line. San Francisco 49ers versus the Los Angeles Rams. This Rams team is being decimated by injuries and I cannot see them keeping a close game to the 49ers. The 49ers, shocking loss to the Minnesota Vikings. I think they pull themselves together, and I think they defeat the Rams probably by at least 10 points with Cup being hurt, Nakua being hurt, and this Rams defense just hasn't been the same with Aaron Donald retiring. So give me the 49ers money line. I think they probably destroyed the Los Angeles Rams by 10 points or more. Detroit Lions versus the Arizona Cardinals. The Lions lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Meanwhile, the Carolina, meanwhile, the Arizona Cardinals defeated the Los Angeles Rams. I'm going to have to give the slight W to the Detroit Lions. I think they rely on the ground game a lot. It's up in the air if St. Brown will play. If he doesn't or does, I still think that the Lions are just the better team at this moment. And I think they'll find a way to get this W over the Cardinals. So give me the Detroit Lions money line over the Arizona Cardinals. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Atlanta Falcons. The Chiefs starting the season 2-0, although that ending to the that Bengals game was a bit sketchy, but they got the W. Then the Atlanta Falcons, Kirk in that offense. Um, give me the Chiefs money line. I don't see a way of this Falcons team taking down the Kansas City Chiefs. And I just think that the Chiefs are just the better team. And I think this pass defense will probably stop Kirk and that's all in this offense. So give me the Kansas City Chiefs money line to defeat the Atlanta Falcons. Monday night games, Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Buffalo Bills. And they are at Buffalo. Give me the Buffalo Bills money line at home. Josh Allen's dual threat ability keeps him in the game. Although the Bills had a crazy offseason, losing a lot of pieces on the defense and offense, I still think that Josh Allen can group this team together and give them that 3-0 start. And the Jaguars start the season 0-3. Give me the Buffalo Bills money line. Last but not least, we have the Washington Commanders at Cincinnati Bengals. I do expect the Bengals to bounce back. I do not think they start the season 0-3 and losing to a commander's team. I think Joe Burrow shreds this past defense and this defense as a whole. They are pissed off from that Chiefs loss. Give me the Cincinnati Bengals money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week three predictions and who you think will win or any upsets. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.